reason that companies should invest in digital marketing is because audiences have changed how they interact with products uh, from a digital standpoint. They're researching uh, products in, in new ways. They're looking for inspiration uh, in ways that they may, ha may not have been doing uh, years ago. So that shift is something that manufacturers and companies should capitalize on, uh, and that's primarily through their digital presence. So we know there's a lot of pillars with digital marketing. There's marketing automation, there's ads, there's social media. It can be hard to understand where to invest your budget. The first place we start is we start to try to identify with our clients who the right audience is and then how we need to get them to make the right action at the right time. So an example of this is um, maybe we have a client who wants to increase sales of their fire resistant cladding offering. With a desire like this, we can do a lot of different things. We can target it through SEO, we can target it through website content, we can target it through ads, we can do keyword research, um, we can do cost per click research, we can do display ads that are geo-targeted to the regions that are affected by this issue. Um, and the great thing is, is that when we do all of this, that's all trackable. Each individual piece of that digital marketing plan, we can attach to a KPI, we can track to that KPI, we can pivot a weekend or a month in, if something isn't working, we can change our messaging. It's very different from traditional advertising in that sense. If something's not working, we know it really quick and we can pivot almost immediately. And then we can come back, we can set a KPI and we can come back and track that campaign as a whole and report to all the stakeholders and let them know what the success looks like.